In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the components of an Oracle database. In the last video, you saw the three primary components in a computer in the form of memory, storage, and CPU. And we saw that memory is very fast, but it's not permanent. Whereas storage or disk is slow, but it is permanent. So the way an Oracle database is going to work is to make use of these three components and process the data. The component that sits in the storage is called as a database. The database sits on the storage and is made up of files. There are different types of files which we will come to later. Similarly, I have a structure for the memory called as an instance which actually has two sets of components one is called as the SGA and the other is a bunch of processes the SGA is a memory allocation with various components like there's something called as a shared pool buffer cache and other components we will go into the details later and there are a set of processes which are otherwise called as background processes which are basically going to make use of the processor to do activity so the database as we generally call is just a collection of files the instance is the memory component which contains an SGA which is pure memory and a set of processes which enable the utilization of the CPU on the hardware. These components together forms an Oracle database server to which a client can connect and work. Whenever a user says I have connected to the database he is actually not connected to the database he actually connects to the instance and as I showed you the instance is the combination of SGA and processes and these processes will interact and fetch data from the database and enable the user to process whatever he wanted so the takeaway from this video for you is to know that a database is a storage component which is a collection of files and to work with the database we have an instance which has got an SGA or a memory structure and a set of processes through which we can process them in the next few videos we will see what are the different types of files and what are the components in the SGA and what are the processes that are created as part of the instance